morning. A while back, these folks at Cam Park sent me a, a, a solar-powered trail camera to try out. And we had that raccoon coming around the house on, after Cindy's chickens. I put it on the chicken coop and I got some video of the turkeys and chickens and about everything except for the raccoon. He never did come back. I got one skunk on there. But uh, anyway, we're up here looking for some uh, huckleberries and just kind of exploring today. So I figured this would be a good spot to put this. Uh, a couple of things that I've, I'm not really sure about with this camera is it says it takes AA batteries, but there's nowhere to put them. So I don't know if I got kind of generic instructions that have several cameras or if this one is just purely solar. But so far it seems to be working pretty well. This is what it looks like. It's got a, get it out of there. <laughs> Oops. It's got a plastic cover on it that's got tree bark pattern. Kind of blends into there. I don't know. Let's see if it's going to blend into these darker trees. I don't think it will. Yeah. I don't know how noticeable that would be. It's it's a little too greenish. It needs to be more brown, but I think in these rocks, I think it'd blend in real well if it doesn't get too hot. So, underneath this cover is the actual camera. It's a little skinny thing. I kind of like that. But like I say, there's no place that I can see to put any batteries, unless you got to take it all the way apart, and there's no screws for that. There's little divots and things. And then underneath here, this is where the card slot is. That's the on-off switch, and then a, a cord plug. And this one up here, that one is for the solar panel plug. So, as far as I can tell, this one does not take any batteries. This camera takes those little itty bitty cards. Little bitty thing. What's kind of funny though is uh, I had one that quit working, one of the bigger camera cards. And I tore it apart, and that's all the bigger they are on the inside anyway. Now, I don't know if the extra extra inch or so size is just so it's easier to grab or what. But anyway, I think I'm going to... There's a trail here. Pretty good trail going right up and around the edge of that and coming back this other direction over here. I think I'm going to put it up in these rocks and... This is kind of a bottleneck point. Maybe I'll get some pictures of something. Well, this camera is called the TC-21 Ultra Covert Hunting Camera. It's solar powered. Comes with this plastic cover. Comes with a couple of mounting straps, a cord to plug it in to your computer. And it has some um, screws and some of those little expanding plug things to mount it with. And it also comes, of course, with the solar panel, which is on an adjustable mount, which is kind of nice. You can set it up several different ways. You can put a strap through, through these slots or there's spots for screws. The camera itself, it has slots for screws, or a strap I mean, and it has a mount for a regular uh, quarter inch by 20 uh, screw that to also bolt. The cover lends in 
perfectly with these rocks. A lot more so than it does with the trees. I'm a little bit worried though that it'll get too hot. I'm a little worried those rocks are going to be too hot. So I mounted it up here in this tree. It, the cover doesn't blend in quite as well as it does with the tree. And hopefully the solar panel will be on full sunlight in the morning sun. I don't know how sensitive it actually is, if kind of indirect light will charge it or not. But this thing, one thing I don't like about it is you have to, to turn it on and off. You do that, and then it's got a countdown here for turning it on. Should probably be working. But then, after that, you snap the cover on. Okay, so we'll try to figure out where this is aimed. I want it right up and down that trail. So, something probably pretty close to that. that up. Never really found any cameras, jet trail cameras, that are really that easy to adjust. Some of them have a screen where you can see where they're at. Some of them don't. But I was told to take your camera, or your telephone, I mean, and spin it around so it's looking at you. Got really. And you can put it. over the front of your camera and kind of tell where it's aiming. That, that's probably pretty close. The whole time, this thing is taking pictures of me doing this. <laughs> anyway, I think we're set. Now looking down the trail, it's not really very noticeable. It blends in fairly well. And most people, when they're walking, they're kind of looking at their feet so they they don't trip on anything. So chances of somebody seeing that probably are less than what you would think. It does seem awful obvious though. But I've had pictures of people walking past trail cameras that I didn't think were very well hidden at all and they don't see them. The solar panel is probably a little more noticeable. Where we're at I don't think very many people come here. This road, the road used to be a road, but it's not anymore. They, they, there's no entrance to it. You gotta, gotta go around a little bit of a guardrail and stuff. So hopefully there won't be anybody up here. Anyway, leave it alone and see what we get. Last time when we put this camera out, when I went to edit it, 
I realized that uh, I didn't close this little yeah, on. I didn't close this little rubber thing on the bottom. That's kind of what makes it weatherproof. I'll need to do that, but since we're here, I might as well see if there's anything on the camera too. One photo, 19 videos. The photo, I think, is me setting it up. A lot of these are going to be trying to get it aimed also, I think. Okay, why isn't it showing anything? Hmm. Might not be formatted for this card reader. I might have to take it home to the computer. Well, for whatever reason, the card reader doesn't want to show me anything. So, reach back up under here. Turn that back on. Memory card error. Format. I just put a brand new memory card in it, so maybe that's why. Okay, we got the countdown here. So it should be working. And put this little rubber thing back on that I didn't do before. I'm not going to do it one-handed. Okay. And then... i to snap this back onto it. I don't know that I like the... that part of this. It's uh, a little bit awkward to do. And then when you're doing it, you're kind of jostling it around, so I'm not sure it's aimed in the same spot anymore. It should be... I bet pretty close though. So, take the camera card that I uh, had in it and I'll take it back home and put it on the computer see if there's anything on it. I hope there is. It's only been out one day, but it says we got 19 videos. So, there should be something.
that's a long thunder anyhow so back to the camera but all those videos were just from one single night I, I was pretty impressed with that there's quite a few elk up there I mean it's a small herd maybe less than six but they stayed right there in front of the camera for quite a while but uh, so the things I like about this camera and the things I don't like about this camera I, I wrote them down I can't really say they're good things and bad things because the the bad things aren't bad things it's just stuff that maybe I don't like personally but um, I'm not really sure I like that snap-on cover that much um, if it comes in different colors where you can blend into different areas that would be a great thing and what I don't like about it is when you go to check the card you have to unsnap that cover but there is a way this is one of the good things uh, there is a way to download on your phone uh, some sort of a deal where you can look at your pictures on off of the camera onto your phone without looking at it but the bad thing is that that takes Wi-Fi and where I'm at there very few places that that would work so I, I didn't even I didn't even try that my battery is about dead That's a long thunder boom okay so where was I uh, the snap-on cover the good points on the snap-on cover is that it does come off you don't have to have it on there in a place where you don't need it and also the little tabs that are on there they help hold the cord in for the uh, solar panel and they also hold that little rubber flap shut also so uh, the only thing I don't like about that snap-on cover is that unless you download that deal app or whatever they call it so you can look at it on your phone you have to take that cover off to pull the card and to turn it on and off and like I say it's not a big deal it's just personal preference um, it's a little bit complicated compared to some of the cameras I got I, I don't want to mess around a lot I like just an on off switch and a switch or a button that says uh, video or um, still pictures and this one's a little more complicated than that but again it's not a big deal it's easy enough to figure it out um, that little rubber bottom flap uh, it seems to work it's on the bottom and it, it seals fairly tight but I'd prefer something that snaps shut. Um, the micro SD card. I tore apart one of the bigger ones that are about an inch square. It, it quit working, so I tore it apart. And inside of those is about the same thing as those micro cards. So as far as space goes, I think the little ones work fine. What I don't like about the little ones is they're so small that they're kind of hard to hold on to especially if your fingers are cold in the winter time if you dropped one of those uh, it might be really hard to find I, I again personal preference it's not a knock against the camera but uh, I like something a little bit bigger you can actually grab hold of and so the good points number one thing I like about it is it doesn't take any batteries it has a solar panel and that is going to save a ton of money. Batteries in, in trail cameras really don't last that long. And if, I, if it doesn't take any batteries, if I don't have to buy those, that is a huge, huge bonus. Uh, the instructions, though, it does say that it takes two AA batteries. But there is no place to put them. And reading through the instructions, it doesn't it doesn't tell you any place to put them. There is no 
you know, battery compartment or anything diagram. Uh, as far as I can tell, that camera does not come apart. So the, it, it has to be internal. The, uh, you know, a solar charge anything, whether it's a solar yard light or whatever, it has an internal battery because that's what's charging up during the daytime hours. It, it won't work at night if it doesn't have a battery on there. So, someplace there's a battery in there, and I don't know if they're replaceable. So, whether or not it'll, you know, how long it's going to last or not, I have no idea. But, uh, there might be a way to change those, I can't tell. Okay, the next one is the flash. There are so many cameras I have had. Deer, elk, bears, they don't really seem to be too concerned about a light lighting up usually it's a red light and something it's not a big white flash like a <laughs> I'm old a magic cube or something like that or a or a flash bulb I used to I used to have an Argus that took the look like a miniature light bulb one one flash one picture but uh, anyway standing in front of this camera I waited long enough in between that I knew it would come on and I moved around a little bit and I watched there is no sign at all that it came on and yet I was on their camera all lit up so it's got a black flash of some sort I hope you can hear that thunder it's kind of neat I like thunder and lightning as long as it doesn't start forest fires but I've had so many like I say, deer and elk, bears, they don't really seem to mind, but a coyote or a wolf, they'll come up and they see that flash, boom, they're gone. I mean, they don't like it and they, they spook from it bad. This one, I don't think they can see that, so that's a huge bonus. Um, the range of it seems pretty good. I was picking up stuff probably 50 feet away. Most trail cameras, it's 30 feet or so. They advertise a lot more, but they usually don't pick them up that far away. Um, I like the flat design. That thing, I bet it's only an inch thick, maybe even a little less, without the cover on it. And with the cover on it, that doesn't add that much. But I like that flat design. It, it holds against the tree a lot, a lot better than a big you know, brick size thing. Um, I already said the, I got a list here. <laughs> the the Wi-Fi pictures to the phone. That I think would be a practical thing, especially if you can erase them using your phone. I never tried that, so I don't know how that works, but that to me, that's a good thing. Then you wouldn't have to take that cover off, you wouldn't have to mess around with it. Just look at the pictures on your phone without even touching it and leave again. But where I'm at, uh, we have really poor satellite or uh, not satellite, internet type of stuff. And where I'm at, it, it wouldn't work. There's there's no cell phone signal down there or anything else. Uh, the picture quality, that seems to be pretty good. Uh, I had one still picture is all and the rest of them were videos. And they're clear, they're sharp, they don't jump around, you know, or anything. The, the, the quality of the pictures was pretty good, I thought. One thing I really like about it is it has sound. A lot of them don't. Uh, some of my, what are they, uh, stealth cameras, I can't get the doggone time and date stamp to work. This one has sound, it has a time and date stamp, it has the temperature in both Celsius and Fahrenheit, and it shows you the amount of battery charge, which has never been below 100% so far with that solar panel alone. I have not put batteries in it because there is no place I can find to put batteries in it. Uh, I guess that's the end of my list. So. Do I like this camera, or do I not like this camera? Yes, I do. I don't have any idea what they cost, but uh, there's a few things I don't like about it, but overall, I would buy one. They're, 
you know, it's hard to know. I've only had it a short time. It's hard to know how long it's going to actually keep working. Eventually, they all quit working. But uh, it kind of worries me a little bit having an internal battery that, as far as I can tell, is not replaceable. Just how long that's going to be able to keep being recharged. But uh, the battery saving cost, even if it doesn't last really that long, if it lasts a couple of years, the mo your money ahead not having to buy the batteries. So that kind of cancels out. And one thing I really like about it is uh, because it is solar, I don't have to worry about the batteries being dead. I can set this thing up at the beginning of summer and leave, come back maybe midwinter and the card will probably be full, but I think the batteries will still be good, or the camera will still be working. Um, I don't know about winter. You know, it's right now it's July, so I don't know how that's going to work. A lot of it, uh, cameras, trail cameras, they don't work that good in the winter time. The trigger speed gets real slow and they stop working. So that I can't tell you either way. But uh, anyway. I like this camera and I'm grateful that they sent it out to give it a try and I'm looking forward to finding out what else is up that canyon. All these videos I just showed you, those were all in just one night. So I'm hoping there'll maybe be some wolves and some bears and who knows what other fun stuff up there. But gotta say, thumbs up. Thanks again for giving me the chance to try this thing. and. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Bye.